watching this video please do not subscribe for me thank thank you and click the notification bell i'll be so happy and motivated to do more thank you and today welcome to another episode of frame concern now today we are going to do skin retouching on this so we are going to remove the spot from it and we are going to make the picture look better so frequency separation that is how many people call it so the first thing i'm going to do here is that i'm going to create a layer but i'm going to duplicate this one so Control j or command j so then i'm going to rename this here then there you go to the healing spot healing brush to this is what i'm going to use though there are other options but i prefer using this but this is the easiest so what i'm going to do now is so what i'm going to do next is to remove the spot so yeah let's begin this way i'm going to zoom in to remove all the spot so I'm going over here trying to move it. So yeah, now <coughs> now that we are done moving the spot, we are going to create two more layers for this. So what I'm going to do is Command J command again this one i'm going to name it low and i'm going to name this one high so with the low this is where all the textures is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide the high one i go to filter gaussian blur and i'm going to blur it a little too <coughs> I'm going to blur it a little so that I hide the blemish in it. So I'm going to hide the spot, but you must make sure the nose, the mouth, the eyes come out. So I'm going to reduce it a little. Yes. So now I'm going to bring back it and I'm going to the high part so what i'm going to do in this is go to image then after this i go to apply image from here i'm going to low then i will change it to subtract and i click ok then the scale must be 2 then offset must be 1 to 8 and I don't want anyone to touch this opacity is 100 yes so I'm going to here the blend mode will be linear light then I'm going to group this control G then I select this and put it in black and white black and white Then I'm going to reduce, increase the red in it a little. Yes. So what I'm going to do now is to come here and I'm going to choose mixer brush too. So what to do here is make sure you what make sure you clean your brush your, your brush stays clean then wet 90 percent load 75 mix 90 percent and flow is 100 percent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in then i'm going to brush it off but you must make sure that this one is selected so let's I'm going to start with the top one side.
so you make sure you brush through all this part you must make sure you don't do it too much So now I'm going to hide the, the black and white so you can see the difference between the two. So this is how you can deal with a nice way to make it smooth. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add a new layer. Because I'm going to use the dodge and blend, so let's do the dodge first. So I'll go to edit and I'll go to fill, then I'll select 50% gray, then mode multiply, then okay. Then we see I'm going to choose vivid light, then. I'm going to choose my brush to, no sorry I'm going to choose dodge instead then it's here I'm going to select the highlighted place carefully and make sure your opacity is three percent and please don't do it too much with here or you're going to and make sure that your range is on mid to so So now you are going to do it there. Then, so what you are going to do is you are going to create another layer. Hit edit, fill. You are going to follow the same step you did for the dodge. But this time you are going to select dodge and then you are going to select specific the place which are not highlighted so i'm going to use this part let me undo this a little bit so This is, how, this is how you can enhance your photo so let's put this and this in a group so this is how the picture looks and this is how you enhance it so for more of these images you can please go please subscribe to this channel and get more videos thank you